Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to run Gamma 0.9.1 second anniversary on Linux. This is a guide for Arch. To start this off, I recommend having a Wine version of 7 or above. I believe 6 should do fine, but as you can see, I'm using Wine 8.21, which has worked flawlessly for me. Now for the second step, it is to download the zip files that I have in the description below. If for whatever reason you cannot access the description, here are the links to the downloads. When you access these links, it should look just like this, where it ends in 001, 002, 003. The title is Links Gamma 0.9.1, second anniversary. It is a 7 zip, of course. The author should be Linux Gamma 01, second anni, 02, and 03. So once you download these, we will move on to the next step. Now the next step is to open up the zip file. I suggest using pzip to open this up. And just give it a moment to launch, but you're going to need all the files that you downloaded in the same directory. As you can see, I have it here in my downloads folder. Once pzip does open it up, you should have anomaly 1.5.1.2 and then gamma rc3. This is what you should have. Now for the next step, which is extraction, where you extract is up to you. But for today's example, I will be extracting into my Steam home folder. Now for your Steam home folder, you're going to have to do some work around you. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So you're gonna go find Steam, and then you're gonna to go to Steam. You're gonna copy this directory, then you're gonna to go to your home, you're going to right click, create, create new, and click link to file or directory. You're gonna paste it in there, and you can call whatever you want, but I already have a shortcut called Steam, and you're gonna click okay. And you're going to go to your shortcut, we're back here at Steam, and you're going to go to your Steam apps, you're going to go to common, and here you are, you should create a folder called Stalker Gamma, or whatever you like, but I already have it created called Stalker Gamma. So our next step is to, once you create your Stalker Gamma folder, you're going to open it up. I already have the folders in here, because I've already done this, but it should be empty for you. The next step is to go to your directory, you're going to copy the directory. Now you're going to go over to your pzip, you're going to select anomaly 1.5.12, gamma rc3, you're going to click extract. Once you're in this menu, you're going to paste in the directory of that I told you to copy, and then you're going to uncheck the extract in a new folder. This is what your settings should look like, and once you're done, you're going to click OK, and you're going to let it finish extracting. So once you have all the files extracted in your stalker gamma folder, you're going to go open it up, you're going to go to your Gamma RC3 folder, and then just like last time, we're going to go to modorganizer.exe, you're going to copy the direction, go over to your Steam library, click add an on Steam game, you're going to click browse, you're going to paste in the directory, click open, should be selected, and click add selected programs. Now we should go over to, in our library, oh, it was there for a second, there you go, modorganizer.exe. You're gonna right click, go to properties, and just for, so it's easy to keep track of things, we're gonna rename this to Stalker Emma. And once again, just like last time, we're gonna go to our compatibility. We're gonna force the use of a compatibility tool. We're gonna select Proton 7.0-6. Gonna exit out of this. Then we're just gonna click play, and then it's gonna start launching. Then we're just gonna quickly click stop afterwards. And then after that, we're just going to open up Proton Tricks. And here it is. Okay, so we're going to scroll down to Not Skiing Game, uh, Stalker Gamma. We're going to click OK. Click through the pop ups. All right. Now, once you get to the screen, you're just going to click Select Default Wine Prefix. OK, and then after that, you're going to click Install a Windows DLL or Component. And then you should be greeted with this little list right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll for what you see on the screen. Once you have everything you need selected, you're just going to click OK down here. Click through the pop-ups once again. All right. so. Once it's all complete and you're back at the screen, just click cancel. And then you're going to click cancel again. And then you should be done with that segment. 
And now we can click play once again. And we're just going to wait for it to go through its motions until we receive a certain pop-up. And you should see a pop-up like, you know, instance portable not found, right? So you're going to click OK. And then you're going to click browse. Now I know in the previous video I had it in an, uh, in my uh, portable directory, right? But this time I have it in my home directory. And if you did earlier where the tips tell you to uh, create a shortcut to get to Steam, you're going to click the Steam. You're going to go for your Steam apps, go to Common, go to Stalker Gamma, Anomaly Folder. And then here we are, we're going to click Open. Should be greeted with this if all is going well. And here we are. Much similar to last time, we're going to change the directories of the ones you want to play, or the executables you want to play. I'm going to choose Anomaly DX11. And what you want to do is you're going to, we're going to click the drop down menu again, go to edit, and then wait for a menu to be presented. And here we are, DX11. We're going to change where the executable is located. Um, so we're going to click browse the file system. We're going to go to our bin. We're going to do the DX11 one. And then after this, we're just going to copy the directory, paste it into here, and we're just going to remove the exe part. And then you click OK. So when all is said and done, you should have 446 mods installed. Just click Run. It will prepare itself. All right, and here we are. So we're just gonna click new game. We're just gonna do a uh, freedom. Do the army warehouse. And here we are, we're in the game. Let's just do a little walking around. So yeah, as you can see, um, the game seems to run pretty fine. Um, run smoothly. And if you guys were here from the previous guide, you might notice that, hey, the fog actually looks correctly. And this is the reason why is because um, for me, the prior problem I had was that I, I, my wine wasn't updated. It couldn't handle a uh, reshade, but um, here we are now. So things should work and things should actually be better. Uh, but, however, if you do have any fog problems, I suggest referring to the previous guide and following the steps that I instructed on how to uh, pretty much handle this issue if you did have a fogging issue. Alright, thank you guys for watching my guide, and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day.